Palm Springs. Fabled oases of glamour and fun. A dramatic steady in contrast with cool, refreshing pools beside the burning sands of the flat desert floor. Nestled at the foot of the towering, often snow-capped San Jacinto Mountains, the world's most famous desert resort, with green, sun-drenched golf courses, all beautifully tended, inviting bits of a golfer's paradise. And with bridal trails through picturesque, palm-shaded canyons. Palm Springs, where everyone, the very famous, and the not so famous can enjoy the non-stop sunshine and the clean, clear air. In the luxurious surroundings of a great variety of accommodations designed to make everyone's pocketbook feel at home, a magic vacation land for everybody with excitement and adventures and the most fabulous adventure of them all, the unique Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, the largest, longest, single-span passenger carrying aerial tramway in the world. It's an adventure which had its beginning several years ago, when a few far-sighted desert residents decided to build the great aerial tramway. But how to build it? To scale one of the sheerest escarpments in North America was a gigantic problem demanding a unique solution. The solution? Helicopters. The fabulous little workhorse of the sky would help make it possible for man easily and quickly to reach the magnificent mile-high mountain wilderness surrounding Mount San Jacinto above Palm Springs to enjoy the cool, pine-scented nature wonderland. Surveys had indicated that five huge towers were necessary to support the tramway cables, the distance of 13,200 feet to the top. Only tower number one, the largest of the five steel giants was accessible by road from the site where the valley station was being built. Here was the nerve center of the construction operation. The other towers, as well as the mountain station on top, were supplied entirely by the helicopters. Without them, the workers would have had to hike over five hours just to get to tower number two. But the helicopters made round trip flights to the top in 15 to 20 minutes. The impossibly small 20 by 20 foot wooden helicopter landing pads at the tower construction sites were suspended precariously out over the steep walled canyon. But the helicopters, like giant dragonflies, landed unerringly with their 800 pound loads. Every man, every piece of machinery, virtually every pound of building material was flown up. Everything including a 900-pound kitchen stove for the mountaintop camp that housed some 60 workmen. Heavy equipment such as bulldozers and tractors were dismantled and flown up in pieces and then reassembled. Building the tramway was one of the most ambitious and demanding jobs ever tackled by helicopters. Nearly 6,000 tons of material were airlifted and over 2,000 workmen every month during the 26 months it took to conquer the mountain. The incredible helicopters handled almost everything. Only a very few items were brought up by a special system of hauling cables. The pilots flew six-hour shifts. They flew in all kinds of weather, logging some 7,000 flying hours, and topping it all by setting a safety record, flying 23,000 missions without mishap. The helicopters were refueled after every flight, just enough gas for the next round trip. The less fuel, the more cargo. Special rigs with quick release triggers made cargo handling as efficient as possible. Once the helicopter engines were started in the morning, they labored constantly all day long. Six pilots worked on the vast project, all of them veterans and helicopter experts, with over 36,000 flying hours logged. For the pilots, constantly whirling up and down the jagged, craggy cliff sides of Chino Canyon, the 20-minute flight up with their heavy loads must have seemed a drag. It took four minutes to get down. As the project neared completion, it was more evident than ever that it was indeed a magnificent adventure in engineering. 263 tons of structural steel went into the five huge towers that marched up the mountainside, 
More than $8 million and two years of backbreaking labor had been spent. It was a feat made possible only by the imaginative use of the intrepid little helicopters piloted by skillful, daring men. And at last, the finished towers, firmly anchored in the solid bedrock itself, received the more than 27 miles of steel cable weighing well over 300 tons. It was a truly great adventure. Today, any visitor to Palm Springs can share in this magnificent adventure. It begins at the lower terminal, the Valley Station, reaching almost from wall to wall in Chino Canyon. Constant shuttle bus service takes passengers to the more than 220 foot long Valley Station building from the big free parking area below. From inside the Valley Station, the entire impressive tramway can be seen, stretching two and a half miles up the steep mountainside and over a mile into the sky. A friendly snack bar with a gaily colorful alpine atmosphere caters to the visitors and a gift shop offers many interesting souvenirs. Outside are observation decks from where one can watch the tram cars and an animal park where youngsters of all ages can enjoy being hustled and jostled and nibbled by friendly goats and lovely graceful deer, all with a seemingly insatiable appetite. It's a toss up uh, who enjoy each other the most, the visitors or the deer. It's time to board the brightly painted cable car, one of two, each capable of carrying 80 passengers, and leave the air-conditioned valley station behind. In just 15 minutes, we will be transported from the warm desert sands to a crisp, cool mountain wonderland. We'll travel up through five separate life zones, from the lower Sonoran zone to the Arctic life zone, from Mexico to Alaska, the equivalent of a 4,000-mile trip. Because of the changing climatic conditions as we ride up, the temperature, rainfall, exposure variations, hundreds of different groups of plant and animal life exist at various altitudes. Nowhere else so far south on the American continent are all these different groups to be found in one place. We are approaching tower number one, the tallest of the five support towers. 214 feet high, embedded in tons of concrete. The only tower that can be reached by road. It stands at an elevation of 2,820 feet above sea level. Our breathtaking, ever-changing ride has just begun. A ride that will take us from palms to pines in a quarter of an hour. Palm Springs Aerial Tramway is a double reversible operation with two enclosed passenger cars traveling in opposite directions, each supported from its own set of double track cables. The two tram cars are named after the two tramway founders, O. Earl Kaufman and Francis Crocker. The tramway was opened to the public in September of 1963. Tower number two ahead, 158 feet high, as we pass it, the mountain canyon below begins to unfold in all its rugged, wild splendor. Chino Canyon's Cathedral Rock, towering close by our cable car. Between tower number two and tower number three is the halfway point. Here the two cars pass, one going up, one coming down. Since the two cars are counterbalanced and actually hooked together by the hauling cable, they travel at the exact same speed, the one going down helping to pull the other one up. As we keep riding up, the rock formations become ever more wild and jagged, tilted upward by titanic forces. Tower number three, Elevation, 5,700 feet. When we pass this tower, we'll be riding the longest span between towers, 3,455 feet. The rock strata here are granite, intruded by lighter and darker bands. 
Geologists estimate that the San Jacinto Range is 100 million years old. As we travel up the gorge, we can trace the growth of the mountain range. And at the same time, enjoy a breathtaking view of Palm Springs and the desert far below. And perhaps be lucky enough to spot one of the bighorn mountain sheep that roam the high slopes, along with many other kinds of game, such as fox, mountain lion, and deer. Created millions of years ago by Herculean pressure under the Earth's surface that forced molten rock up through the layered crust, Mount San Jacinto's fascinating story continues to unfold as we come to tower number four, more than 7,500 feet above sea level. 600 feet below us lies the abysmal canyon floor, and from our soaring cable car, we get a magnificent view of Mount San Gorgonio, the highest mountain in Southern California. Kaufman Crag, named after one of the tramway founders. Up here, we can look at the granite core of the mountain itself, the gigantic batholith forced upward to form the mighty peak. Approaching tower number five at an elevation of 8,100 feet, we can see the mountain station above us, its clean lines in stone and wood, glass and steel, blending perfectly with the age-old mountain. As the cable car approaches the terminal, it automatically slows down and moves gently into the dock at reduced speed. As we leave the cable car, the cool, invigorating air is a physical pleasure. No matter what the warm temperature may have been below, up here it is always a crisp 40 degrees cooler. The mountain station stands at 8,500 feet above sea level. The spacious, comfortable restaurant and cocktail lounge here have the friendly atmosphere of an alpine lodge and serve delicious buffet luncheons and dinners of mouth-watering savory mists. Enough to satisfy the biggest appetite. It's a worthwhile experience to dine in this unusual mile and a half high restaurant. A delightful array of cocktails and special alpine drinks are available at a quaint little bar. And of course, a good stein of beer, which seems to go so well with the decor. Here, too, is a colorful shop with many unusual gift items. And a game room, an amusement center with fun and relaxation activities to suit the taste of the young and heart of any age, from bowling game to bagatelle. From shooting planes to shooting pool, from pinball to ping pong. And there's also a little theater showing the motion picture, The Miracle at Palm Springs, free of charge. The great unusual fireplace that took 250 tons of native stone to build has three sides, two inside and one on the observation terrace outside for hikers and skiers. Here too are mounted telescopes through which visitors can view the desert below, distant mountain ranges and little towns as far as the Salton Sea, 45 miles away. It's hard to believe that this year-round wonderland lies just a hundred miles from the city of Los Angeles, only minutes from the desert resort of Palm Springs, merged into the rugged rock outcroppings in the inspiring beauty of the primeval forest of ancient pines, the mountain station opens up new vistas to the west. From the mountain station to Long Valley just below, a special thermal path snakes its way down. Heating elements are embedded in the concrete, the length of the path, keeping it snow and ice free, even in the heaviest snowfall. Down in Long Valley, there are fine picnic facilities. And here too stands the ranger station for the wilderness area. From here, the San Jacinto State Park Rangers conduct regular nature walks, pointing out the many interesting aspects of the magnificent mountain country with its wealth of fascinating lore. But even here, on this age old mountain, Nothing lives forever. Hiking is one of the great pleasures to be enjoyed in the 13,000-acre Mount San Jacinto State Park. 
The untouched mountain wilderness is unbelievably beautiful. The bloom of nature is everywhere. There are 34 miles of scenic hiking trails in the park. One of them leads to enchanting, serene, hidden lake, just a little more than a mile from the mountain station. Other trails lead to a number of campsites, lookout points, and picturesque picnic areas. Just to watch the rushing water of a clear, cool stream makes one feel clean and refreshed in body and mind. At Round Valley, with a magnificent view of Cornell Peak, there are fine camping grounds with all the necessary facilities, just a couple of miles from the mountain station. Round Valley lies on an elevation of 9,100 feet, and from here the rangers also conduct nature walks during the day. It's a great place for a young camper to burn off energy. For the intrepid mountaineer, there's Mount San Jacinto Peak itself to be climbed, a towering 10,831 feet above sea level. Just below the peak is a shelter cabin built with rocks and stone. It has a fireplace and four bunks. On the very peak itself stands a plain wooden marker. From here, the vast view is literally breathtaking and not just because of the rare air. Great distant mountain ranges sawtooth the horizon, and below lie the vistas of the great California desert, Coachella Valley, the Salton Sea, Nevada, Arizona, Mexico. Occasionally, special outings are arranged. For the early birds or the overnight campers, it means a hearty breakfast at Long Valley. The horses are saddled for a ride along some of the most magnificent bridle paths to be found anywhere. Riding horses are available in the park all summer for the visitors to enjoy. Let's ride along with them a short while through the majestic mountain wilderness. After a good day's outing, there's a mouth-watering barbecue in the offing. No steaks ever tasted as good. Day's End presents yet another visual delight, and at the blazing campfire, we can listen to the rangers talk. Throughout the year, numerous special events are held at the mountain station. One of the most popular and well-attended is the annual beauty contest to select Miss Tramway Land. It's not hard to see why. Can you pick the winner? This tramway land will represent the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway for a year at the numerous special events at tramway land. If you picked this lovely girl to be the winner of the Miss Tramwayland title, you were right. But there are honors and rewards for the runners-up as well. And, of course, the admiring attention of a battery of eager photographers. But most important of all, an exciting and colorful event for participants and spectators alike. The Mountain Station Restaurant is ideal for special banquets in a unique setting, although not every event may have as illustrious a guest of honor as this.
On this day, the governor of California is riding the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway to be the guest of honor at a banquet held at the mountain station, a mile and a half above the desert floor. The unusual and excellent facilities of the Mountain Station Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge are available for special events, for private parties, banquets, meetings, and groups of from 25 to 1,000 people. Clubs, organizational outings, and conventions can hold their dinners here and be certain that the festive event will be a truly unique and memorable one. Photographer's Day, another special event held regularly at the Mountain Station. On this day, the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway officials bring up to the station a group of lovely models, and a contest is held open to amateur photographers with prizes for the best and most artistic shots. It's an event that always draws large crowds. During the winter months, the mountain wilderness of Mount San Jacinto State Park turns into a white paradise of unsurpassed beauty and a whole new and different array of activities beckons the visitors. Walking through the wintry wonderland, even snowshoeing in the sparkling virgin snow. A good rousing snowball fight. Or the thrill of cross-country skiing. Snow fun gear is available for rent at the mountain station, or you may bring your own. To ensure that the tram will operate with maximum efficiency and absolute safety, a policy of constant inspection and maintenance is carried out. The actual running of the cable cars is an exact controlled operation. Here in the master control room, the engineer on duty can literally follow the progress of the two tram cars. This indicator tells him how many line feet per minute the cars are traveling and shows the exact position in relation to one another. The engineer and the tram car operators can be in constant telephone communication with each other. Motor power is supplied by a 1,000 horsepower DC electric motor, which turns the colossal 16-foot bullwheel, weighing over four tons. Over this bullwheel pass the hauling cables. Every day, the tramway safety engineers mount the top of the tram cars for a fantastic ride. The purpose is to inspect every inch of the 13,000 feet of double-track cable. The heavy cables are just under two inches in diameter of lock coil construction and capable of supporting six times the weight of a fully loaded car. They are the longest, largest cables of their type ever made. Each pair of track cables is tensioned by counterweights. The cables, expected to last a minimum of 30 years, were manufactured by the United States Steel Company. While the tram car system itself was constructed by a Swiss aerial tramway company that has been building tramway systems the world over since 1908. Over 250 million passengers have traveled their tramways, and on their record, tramway travel is the safest known method of transportation per passenger mile. The five huge towers along the tramway support four steel track cables, as well as the four hauling cables, two auxiliary cables, and a communications cable between the valley and the mountain stations. As in the astronaut programs, everything has a backup system, in other words. Every safety measure and device employed anywhere in the world on aerial tramways is in use here, making the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway not only a fabulous adventure, but a safe and dependable one as well. Our visit to Mount San Jacinto State Park has come to an end. It's time to board the tramway car and return to the valley below. It has been an adventure, an adventure which will never be over or it will live in our memories forever. Thank you.